Now you probably put casters on before, so I don't need to tell you this, but uh, the way I do it is kind of like the shopping cart style. So we got a swivel caster at one end and then a straight one at the other way. That way you can kind of drive it straight and this whole thing is not all loosey goosey wiggly. Um, cool thing about these dudes is they have a goop insert, zerk cert, whatever you want to call it, so you can grease that sucker. Um, these are from Harbor Freight, a fine, fine tool store. So I was just thinking about what height to build this thing at, and I noticed that I've got surfaces at pretty much like every height in here. This work table is, um, you know, like about belt high for me, but this guy I like a lot more, uh, it is just kind of like a knuckle dragger height, and someone once told me that a work surface is really nice if it's kind of knuckle high, and I kind of get that. So I'm gonna build it this high. I bet it's about 32, 33. 31, 30, 30 and a half.
All right, thanks for checking out the industrial workshop table build. Uh, this is one of those ones I've been wanting to do for a while. You know, you get a big shop, which is kind of new to me, and you want a big table on wheels, move around and assemble things on, and so far, it seems to be working pretty well. <laughs>